Hey guys, we're going over Debian 10.6 Cinnamon today. Also, at about three or four minute mark of the video, I'm going to show you how you can get entered to win the Xbox Series X that we're giving away on November 30th. Welcome to Mainstream Linux. We're going over Debian 10.6 Cinnamon today. So let's just get right into it. Um, okay, home screen. Let's right click. You can create folder. You can create a new document, add desk. Let's change desktop background, desktop settings, create a new launcher, open terminal, open root, desktop, okay, icon size, and everything like that. Let's look at the backgrounds. Let's change the background, see what we got. Okay, we're on the regular desk. Let's go ahead and make it up. Okay, that's fine. That's beautiful. Let's go over here. Let's get some system info, and I'll let you know what we're do dealing with here. We are on Debian 10.6, 64-bit. Cinnamon version is 3.8.8. .8. Linux kernel is 4.19.0-11. Now, this kernel is older, but that's one thing about Debian. It is solid. It is stable, so you don't have to worry about issues. Processor, I'm on an Intel Core i5. I've only got two uh, cores assigned to this machine. I've only given it two gigabytes of memory and I'm running it on a five gigabyte hard drive in my virtual machine. The reason I do such low specs is I want to see how it's going to operate on a low spec system. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Let's go over and run through our settings again. What all options do we have? We've got backgrounds, we've got effects, fonts, themes. You can change the themes. We can go in there, window borders, icons, desktop. Those of you that are familiar with Cinnamon, this is nothing new. It's just with a Debian base, a real solid base, actually. Then your accessibility, account details, applets, date, time, desk, desktop panel, online accounts, notifications, extensions, preferred applications. Now, that's one thing I'm not sure about. Does Cinnamon let you integrate your online accounts directly into your file manager? I know with Genome, and yep, let's see here. Let's try it and see what happens. We shall see. Okay, now let's go over to File Manager and see if it sure does. There's my network, and it should bring up my three folders I have online. There we go. And then you double click on it, and there's a picture. Okay, what that is guys, is when you put your online account in, especially Google, doesn't work with Microsoft OneDrive, but it does work with Google. When you put your online account in, your OneDrive will automatically show mounted into your folder, okay? Now, it will show you the information that's on the drive. It hasn't been downloaded yet, okay? But if you double click on it, it will actually download it locally, and then you can actually maneuver with it and do whatever you need to do uh, on your system. So, that's nice. I like that. I'm glad that's in Cinnamon as well. So let's go see what we get out of the box. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and go over this before I get into it. I told you at the beginning of the video I was going to explain to you how you could get signed up for our November 30th giveaway of the Xbox Series X. Watch this video real quick, and when I come back, I'll tell you how to. Okay, I love that video. I really do. But anyway, here's how you do it. You want to get signed up to win that Xbox Series X console that we're giving away on November 30th? All you have to do is subscribe to my channel. That's it. Subscribe to my channel and you're entered. Now, 
if you subscribe and leave a comment, you're entered twice. So that's two chances you get at it. But that's the way we go. That's how we're going to do it. And like I said, November 30th, it's less than two weeks away. We're giving that away. So get subscribed today so you can get entered. Okay, back to Debian 10.6. Cinnamon. Accessories out of the box. You get archive manager, calculator, Debian reference, disks, files, fonts, Gnote, help, uh, Camera converter, screenshot, text editor, and virtual keyboard. Education, you get Golden Dictionary, you get LibreOffice Math. Games, regular games, solitaire chess, five in a row, four in a row, or five or more, four in a row, sorry. Lights off, so you get a lot of games. Graphics, okay, you get GIMP right out of the box. That's awesome. You get Inkscape out of the box. You get Shotwell, Simple Scan, LibreDraw, Image Magic. Internet, Firefox is your browser, of course. Hexchat, Pigeon, Internet Messenger, Remote Desktop Viewer, Thunderbird, Transmission as your torrent. Office, you do get LibreOffice. Now, with this being on Debian, let me double check and see just how old or what version of LibreOffice this is because it's going to be ultra stable. Okay, popped up, Writer Doc. About LibreOffice. It is running version 6.1.5.2. So, yes, it is an older one. I think they're on version 7.01 or something like that now. But anyway, but this is ultra This is ultra stable. Um, that's the reason Debian does. It takes the older systems or the older packages and keeps a complete stable system so you don't have to worry about it breaking. Let's close out of that. Let's go back over and we were on Office Sound and Video. You get Brazero, Cheese, Rhythmbox. Sound juicer, sound recorder, videos, administration. You get, okay, you get GW package installer, install Debian, multilingual terminal, print settings, synaptic. It comes with synaptic package, man, package manager, system monitor. Let's look, take a look at that and see what we're using. Let's look at resources. Okay, we are presently at idle using about 921 megabytes of memory. CPUs at about 30% on one, 10% on the other, so so that's not too bad. Uh, less than a gig at idle on memory, which is good. And that's what you'd expect out of something like Debian and Cinnamon. They're they're not a resource hog. They're kind of low. So, but it's kind of shocking. I mean, I've been having, like I said, I ran Manjaro. I run Manjaro KDE as my daily driver, and usually at idle, it's about five or six, five to six hundred megs of memory use which is shocking for kde you would look at kde and think it would be a memory or a memory hog but it's not um so let's close out of that and we were on administration uh tie x terminal users and groups ux term x term accessibility account details backgrounds you just get your regular preferences menu and then places, of course. Let's look at that. Let's go over and look. And there you go. I mean, Debian's been solid. It's, there's a reason it's the granddaddy. Um, it's been around forever. It's because it's, it's stable. It's solid. People use it when they don't want to have. If you're just coming from Windows or Mac and you don't want to use the Ubuntu's, you don't want to use the Linux Mint. I mean, Ubuntu's based on this. It's based on Debian. It's based on Debian because Debian's a solid distribution. Um, Debian keeps everything, you know, stable. It keeps everything with older packages that have proven. There's no bugs in them. You just plug it in, install it, and you can go get work done. You don't have to worry about a minor little bug here or a glitch there. Usually when you get it installed, you, you're you running and raring to go. So if you're new to Linux or if you haven't visited Debian in a while, Maybe it's time to give it a shot. Uh, I like it. It's solid. It's stable. Uh, I don't think it's going to pull me from my, my Manjaro install, but uh, different flavors for different folks. It's free. Freedom as in free. As in you have the freedom to do what you want. So thank you guys for watching today. Remember, subscribe to this video. You're entered for the November 30th giveaway of the Xbox Series X. Also, if you comment on the video, you'll be entered twice. So, like I said, thank you guys for watching today. Keep your eye out for my next video, and this has been Mainstream Linux.